How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Deathbound PS5 demo. Uh, we're here taking out the boss of the demo called the Unbreakable Beast. Uh, this one took me a minute. Uh, I don't know why. I guess it's just, you know, me getting used to the movements, getting used to the game, all that sort of stuff. Um, but this definitely, uh, it was kind of a cool boss. Took me a while to get the movements down. Um, so this is the new party based uh, souls like uh, you have in this demo you have four characters I think there are seven essences or people that you can use and switch to in the in the full game um, I'm not sure at what point uh, this is in the full game uh, but you start off this demo with four characters you can use and switch to uh, so for those that don't know anything about the game, um, the blue bar at the bottom, when you attack, you fill up that blue bar, and then you can do what they call morph strikes as you switch to your characters. You can attack and then switch to a person, and it does a special attack, and when that bar is filled all the way up, you do kind of like a ultimate attack. Uh, so basically what I'm doing here is switching to the spellcaster and uh putting a weapon buff up and then i'm switching to my melee characters and you see there's uh like green stuff on my spear here uh that is basically corrupted essence as they call it so it kind of you know, you're seeing the health bar before i'm doing damage over time to them so it's actually helping out a lot if you're just doing straight melee attacks it would probably take a bunch of time here so there's a bunch of environmental things that you can kind of you utilize to your advantage in the boss arena here um i'm not really concentrating on that i'm just kind of seeing how much i can damage him and if this guy jumps around a lot as you see so if he if he jumps into something himself that's fine and you see here, as you damage him, he'll do kind of like an AoE explosion, so you got to be careful of that. He'll start shaking, and you want to back off. This is a huge combo. Like, I, I don't think any of my characters had enough stamina to, like, dodge every single one of those hits, so I just generally ran away from it. He does a lot of jumping around. Now, if you do perfect dodges, you're going to... That's gonna help you uh, fill up your sink bar at the bottom as well. So I'm just kind of beating him out, see what attacks he does. This big combo, just like I said, I've run away from. And then there's certain attacks that I'm just gonna sit here and wait for, get some pokes in when I can, get close enough and you know get, get some strikes in wherever I can. He jumps around a lot. He's pretty fast for a big dude. So this attack particularly, you just want to try and get behind him, get a few hits in. This is really the best attack to, you know, your best damage window pretty much. It's his arm gets stuck in the ground. Now you, there's all sorts of consumables and stuff you can use. Um, I did... It is kind of wonky, like, switching consumables in this game. Um, like, I was using the uh, freezing liquid to kind of freeze him up. Once you start hitting him, though, he's going to come out of the uh, being frozen. He stays frozen for quite a bit of time, though. So if you need to kind of take a breather and, you know, buff up your, your weapons or do whatever, it's probably a good time to use that. But yeah, there's, there's consumables you can throw at them that'll explode and whatnot. Tons of consumables in the game, it seems like. But again, I was just mainly concentrating on the fight, doing damage wherever I could. If I started concentrating on environmental traps or consumables, I was going to was gonna end up dying, so... Was a pretty cool fight, though. Fuck. I will say this: uh, 
this game is kind of difficult. Um, and I feel, I don't know, I feel like part of that is because it's a uh, brand new, brand new game, brand new Souls like, and uh, a lot of different mechanics in it, and stuff like that. So it's a little, it takes a little getting used to. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that bite attack. That can pretty much, if you get caught in that, that'll do a lot of damage. But we got him. Pretty tough fight. Thank you for playing. So now we're gonna see some shots of what's to come in the game. But hopefully you all enjoyed, hopefully you do well. We will start this Let's Play series on August 8th. So stay tuned, more coming at you.